I'd like to share with you an interesting thought today. The uh, Sifri Kabbalah, the Arizal, writes, and we know even before that in the Zohar, talks about the idea of Shvir Sakelem, that when Hashem created the world, He created it in a way that the seven lower spheres broke. They broke and they had to be put together again. And the question is, why did Hashem do this? Why did Hashem need to do this? That's one question. Another question is that we find in Mishle a Pasuk. The Pasuk says like this. It's a Pasuk in Mishle. Chav Dalet Hazayin. Ki Sheva Yipol Tzadik Bekom. Rushayim Yikshul The Tzadik falls down seven times. So we find that the Tzadik falls down seven times and he gets up. Why seven times? Why not ten times? Why not four times? Why does the Tzadik have to fall down seven times to um, and then get up? And I believe that one question can really be answered with the other is that when Hashem created the world and caused a destruction to these seven spheros, it was a prototype for all future generations, is that there needs to be destruction before there's creation. There needs to be destroying before a building. We find in Malacha Shabbos, in the Malachas of Shabbos, that there's two Malachas um, right at the end of the Mishnah about Malacha Shabbos. There's a Malacha of Boine and there's a Malacha of Seiser. And you're only, you're only considered um, Minatura violating Shabbos for Seiser, for destroying, if it's Seiser Amenas Livnos, if it's a breaking to build, a breaking to build. And this is in fact what happened when Hashem created the world. Hashem created the world and destroyed these seven um, spheros, destroyed these seven, uh, um, these seven spheros, in t- prototype to teach us that when you build, first you have to destroy. Building comes to destroy. First you have to break, and then that you create. Right? And for this reason, there were seven, um, seven acts, as it were, of destruction that took place before the seven acts of creation of the seven lower spheres of Chesed, Burat, Tzvaras, Netzachod, Yisod, and Malchus. There first needs to be destruction, and then there needs to be building. And the Maral explains this. This is the reason behind Chevli Mashiach. What do we need Chevli Mashiach for? The Svarim tell us that before Mashiach comes, um, that there will be great panic and destruction. Very, very difficult times. I heard from my Roshiva, Rashiko Shlevsky, it doesn't have to be. We can have, if we have a very great uh, merit, then we don't necessarily have to have that. But it, the Pashtas, the simple understanding is that we need these seven act. we need these, um, we need the structure beforehand. And the morale says before anything new can happen in this world, there has to be a destruction of the old. We have to take the parts, as it were, and put them back together. This is the way Hashem created the world. This is the prototype. And this is what has to happen in order for creation to take place. So we should be aware of this. When things go wrong, when things break down, right, or as one of my um, one of my listeners wrote to me, right, the um, everything has crumbled. I got this letter. Everything has crumbled. And she's right. Everything crumbles. Before the building, there has to be a crumbling. Before the um, before creation, there has to be destruction. Because Hashem wants us to pick up the pieces. Hashem wants us to take what He's created, yeah, and use it to bring things higher, to make a recreation. Right? This the Maral says the same idea behind Chevli Leda. When a woman gives birth, before a woman gives birth, she has incredible pain. And what's that all about? Why is it such a beautiful uh, concept of bringing Hashem in this world be um, be uh, introduced, as it were, by incredible pain. The idea is that before creation, there has to be destruction. The Gemara tells us it takes two years for a woman to recover from birth. For two years, a varah and a sparkin, her whole um, bone and um, body system um, experiences a semi-breakdown. What's that all about? The idea is, is that before we have something good, it has to be preceded by something difficult. That's preceded by destruction and breakdown. And this is what we're experiencing now. The world, whoever has eyes, you could see that it's breaking down. And the question is, how far does it have to go before Mashiach comes? We're definitely going through this time. Hashem should give us great ziyat to the because we know that the times before Mashiach are trying times. And as Rav, um, 
and as Rav um, um, Eli Lapian said, right, about the Gemara, the Gemara tells us Rav Yochanan had seven children who died, another seven, right, seven, we see destruction in seven, and he, um, he, uh, no, I'm sorry, I apologize, not seven, it's ten, but okay, it's, um, it's uh, there are ten spheres as well. Ten, you know, Yochanan had ten children who died, and he used to pull out from his pockets, um, he said, this is the bone of my tenth child, right, he had ten children who died, and yet, Rav Yochanan, and he and he was accepting of that. Yet Rav Yochanan tells, uh, says, "Put me in a generation, but don't put me in the generation before Mashiach comes." And Eliapian said he could get, he can deal with ten children dying. He couldn't deal with Chavdei Mashiach. What could be so bad? Yeah. So Eliapian answered the Sveikas, the lack of clarity and the complete confusion which reigns in the world today. If anything is true today. It's there's complete confusion. Most people are lacking clarity of what's going on. And our job is to look for Gedalim, look for Svarim, look for Tzadikim, who have a clarity and cling to their words. Shem Shikur is the greatest Yad the Shmaya, to be successful in these difficult times. Each person, according to his own challenge, every person has those seven falls that they go through, and sometimes they happen on a daily basis. And we just have to get up. We have to realize, just like when the spheres broke, yeah, so Hashem put them back together. This is a prototype for all generations that before there's a building, there's a, a seven, a seven layer, um, a seven layer uh, destruction that takes place. Seven layers of falling before we can get up. Hashem should keep us strong that we don't get um, distraught from this fall, and we should have the greatest siyad the Shmaya. To be successful in every single thing we do, a man came to Ratzon.